you feel you know if you're really going to play some really gut bucket blues it's the way that you feel I can make up a blues as I go along and if, and if you just sometimes I get around and by myself and I make up my blues just sit and play by myself I don't know what it would be but it would be a blues yeah we have an organization that is um, and it's called Pop Ferguson Blues it's not totally about a Pop Ferguson it's about that piece of American history. But Pop Ferguson is noted as one of the last true living practitioners of traditional music, Afro-traditional music, out of Western North Carolina. But I got my gift. You know where my gift come from? Where? God. God gave me the gift to play when I was 10 years old. His dad was a holiness preacher and um, just didn't allow any of, that, any, of that, any of that rag music to be played. And his sister tells the story that the whole family does and how that Pop was playing one night and it got his turn to take a solo in the tent revival. Well, Pop had been working on that blind boy Fuller piece, Step It Up and Go, and he said he leaned over to his brother Sam and said, watch this. <laughs> and so we take turns about, so it come my time to play, and I took all those Step It Up and Go. My dad said, hold it. See, you get tired at the wrong car, and you go out, I'll catch you when you get home. <laughs> he run me out of church. Can't you hear me when I call? Now you're not so be. You just tall and that's all. I got to ask you one more time, you know what he said you did. Free Boss Man! Freedman, North Carolina, uh, which is just here in Caldwell County. Um, but Freedman was like, was like, um, it was like Harlem. It was like, it was like when we, you know, we, we talk about the Harlem Renaissance or that period. Freeman was that time. Free, free, that was the same thing here. You, on, on the weekends, you go into the Freeman community and everybody was dressed up. I mean, they were dressed to kill. And then, of course, until the jukebox really got big or to the to, to, uh, stereos and things got really big, Pop was one of those people that, that would find a corner or one of the jukes and start playing and everybody would just pile in. He's, a, he's a, a, a cut out of history. You know, he was that guy. He's one of those guys that never wanted to be really discovered. He just played from the love of the music. Well, it, it, you can make a blues out of a personal thing, you know, according to where you feel. You know, uh, say your lady's done you wrong or somebody's done you wrong or something other like that. You make a blues about, you know, make a blues song about, you know. You know? Like me and my man sitting there talking, and he don't know what to say. I'm going to walk off leaving. Oh, Lord, I'm going another way. Stuff like that, you know? <laughs> it comes up like that. It's just natural, you know? That's the way blues is. Blues is just a low-down gut book or something. It's always my desire that, that when people are watching him, that he will get relaxed enough, and he'll let that guitar take over, and then it's just beautiful. <laughs> I remember getting to visit him when I was nine years old. He played a piece of music at that point in time, and I just it just brought tears to my eyes. I didn't understand why, um, but it was a purity as I as I began to study music myself. I, I think about that day. It was a purity of that music, and then my dream and my desire was I would love to do that for him one day. I love to play with him one day. So when I got that opportunity, um, I did, um, and then to be able to share him with other people who either know about blues or don't know about blues, I can't tell you how, that's an awesome feeling. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream come real. It's something I've never done, and I've traveled from state to state, from country to country, please. I've never bragged on myself about playing nothing because I give all the credit to God, you know what I mean? But I'm not afraid to play, even though I played with some of the best, you know? And so I, I'm not ashamed of what he gave me. He gave me that talent to do, you know. And I'm going to keep it rolling. <laughs> now you're not so 
day. I'm going to keep it going. You just call and that's all.